Hello dear friends welcome to Shiksha Mantra is another English grammar class from Shiksha Mantra today and as you know we have already discussed about verbs and verbals and also a detailed description of forms and uses of infinitives if you have not uh, actually check those videos here the link is there on the i button above from there you can have a detailed learning of what yes verbs and verbals finite non finite verbs and also that of the infinitives and there we have also committed that we are going to discuss in detail many many very much interesting factors about infinitives and in that commitment we are here to present you something that's very much important for you to learn as a student of english language and what's that that is infinitives and obviously this is more than infinitives this is bare infinitives so here we are going to learn in detail about the uses of bare infinitives so let's begin our class so here we are with the first rules that's very much interesting to learn and you'd find that uh, many of us we have actually done this a lot of times or most of the times and every time but still we manage what we manage to fail to look at the things so here comes the first rules of the uses of bare infinitives and what's that yes dear friends it's very much essential i have already discussed it in the infinitives uh, uh, that's the video i have uh, prepared last so there in the infinitive section i've told you that with many modal verbs with many modal auxiliaries we use bare infinitives but we don't consider them as bare infinitives but we must remember it that they are rather bare infinitives so what what are the bare infinitives that we use with those verbs they are can do may must shall will so how it is you may come that means you may to come here we use bare infinitive but as it is bare infinitive we consider that we are using modal auxiliary plus base form of the verb but it's not show here we are actually using bare infinitive so now it's time for the second uses and what's the second uses for the second uses i would like you to focus on these two modal auxiliaries yes what they are dear and need so what happens with dear and need for dear and need like other modal auxiliaries we use bare infinitives so if bare infinitives are used for them as well then why have we separated them from can may might shall will is there a reason obviously there's one because uh, when you use them with do or did or will and would they accept yes they accept full infinitive except when they aren't used with them so let's take an example they need help their neighbors they needn't help them they won't need to help them so when i have used need and dare i haven't used to so there i have used bare infinitives but when i've used them with did or will or would or do i would use their to and the full infinitive as i have done it here they won't need to help them so when i've used won't i've used to as well that's the full infinitive so that's the second uses of infinitives bare infinitives rather now we are going to discuss about the third uses of bare infinitives so let's check it in the third uses of bare infinitives we'd face two verbs yes what are they they are see and hear when we use see and hear obviously there 
we use bare infinitive. How? I saw him run away. So this is when I use she, I've also used bare infinitives. But what happens when we use the same verb in passive form? There we won't use bare infinitive, rather in passive forms of C and here would use what? We'd use full infinitives. So let's check the example. He was seen to run away. So when I've used passive form, he was seen, I've used full infinitive instead of using bare infinitive for the active forms. So let's check out what's the fourth uses of bare infinitives. Yes, dear friends, this is also a very, very important point to remember because here we find out bare infinitive and its relation with let. Yes, dear friends, when we use let, actually we use bare infinitive both in active and passive form. This is very much important to keep in mind the active and passive form of the verbs. Why? Because you have already found out that in active forms we are using bare infinitives but in passive forms most of the time we are using full infinitives that's why this bare infinitive and full infinitive actually has a relation with voice active and passive and for this you have to remember that let is used with bare infinitive for both active and passive forms but there's a problem and what's the problem when we use let sometimes in passive forms we actually replace it with some other verbs you have found it out you have learned it in voice if you haven't obviously i have some video ready for you to learn you can check it in my channel you would uh, find the link in the description box below from there you can learn it but the factor is when you are using let in the passive form some other verb form is used there that's why most of the time we consider that let is used with a bare infinitives whenever it is used in active and obviously if it's used in passive as well so let's check the example and would learn it well so let him go let him go let him go here for the word go we are using bare infinitive because there we aren't using any two so let him go this one is bare infinitives used in active form with let but there's a but let can sometimes be used without an object as well like leave and let leave so leave and let leave if you check this out if you check this sentence you'd find that leave and let leave after let leave we haven't used any object so here let is used but without any object but our focus that's a bare infinitive it's used as a bare infinitive here as well with let so that's all from this and we would shift to our next uses of bare infinitives so let's check out what we find in the next so we are here to learn something very much interesting for beer infinitives yes dear friends whenever you learn the rules of grammars what you do you don't go after the words because there's in english grammar many words are there which are conjugated according to their sense so when you are learning grammar you must remember that it can't be learned singularly rather it must be learned as in very much a uh, balance with your learning of vocabulary as well so go after each and every word that suggests some special uses of english grammar rules so if you don't go after the words obviously it's very difficult for you to learn the english grammar properly so now in this uses of bare infinitives you do with what we do with make yes dear friends make is such a word that it accepts a bare infinitive so 
this is a very special thing you must remember when you are using a verb after make actually what you are doing you are using bare infinitives so let's check out what the example waiting for us here they made the troop retreat they made the troop retreat so here they made the troop retreat retreat is the infinitive rather i must say it's a bare infinitive that has been used after made and also you must remember here another factor if make the same verb is used in passive voice obviously you won't get bare infinitive here rather you'd have to use the full infinitives how it is there's the example the troop is made to retreat the troop is made to retreat so here we aren't using bare infinitives rather here we are using full infinitives so with make when it's active would use what yes when active would use bare infinitive and when passive you would use what sorry i can't listen yes full infinitive that's all from this segment and we would proceed further for the next rules regarding the uses of bare infinitives so let's go yes dear friends in many sentences we use expressions like would rather would sooner rather than sooner than and with all these verbs we use bare infinitives these expressions must be remembered well because with them would use a bare infinitive every time don't use full infinitives there and you will make a mistake so let's check out an example for them would rather wait for the rain would rather wait for the rain so here wait that is the bare infinitive we'd rather wait for the rain so would rather would sooner or rather than and sooner than all these expressions would be followed by what bare infinitive and this another expression this is also very much important and you have to remember it very well so let's check what's there waiting for us the next rules of uses of bare infinitives have you ever used had better you have na yes dear friends after had better what do you do what infinitive do you use is it full infinitive if it's then obviously you are making a mistake there you must put a bare infinitive after had better you had better wait for what it's a it's hot summer so rain you'd better wait for rain so you would better you would better had better wait not you had better to wait for rain but you have to use it as you had better wait for the rain so this is our very much important expression to remember had better with bare infinitive now we shift to another verb very close to our heart we use it so frequently in so many occasions in so many sentences and expressions that this verb is always in our pocket ready to be thrown into our sentences so what's the verb the verb is help do you have any idea what infinitives do we use with help yes dear friends with help we may use either bare infinitive or full infinitive it doesn't matter whether you have used bare infinitive or full infinitive the sentence is going to get correct you want to make any mistake if you use either bare infinitive or yes full infinitive it can accept both of them so let's check out an example and find out how the sentence looks with help they helped us raise funds they helped us raise funds 
we may also write it down as they help us to raise funds both are correct you can use both of them and there's another very much important rules regarding the use of bare infinitives so let's check it yes dear friends this time it's going to get longer the sentences of it longer how sometimes we use two expressions together in a sentence connected by and yes when and connects two expressions and both the expressions are infinitives we drop the two from the second expressions yes the two of the second expressions would simply drop how let's check an example i want you to watch the video and remember the points i want you to watch the video and remember the point so here remember it's actually i want you to watch the video and to remember the points so here as it is added with and and there the second one and the first one both are infinitives so we have dropped two for the second so here we aren't using to remember rather we are using remember remember it dear friends it's a really very very important thing if you forget the uses and also where how with which words with which verbs and with which expressions we have to use them obviously you are going to get confused in your uses of infinitives so this is the time to say goodbye and obviously we are waiting for your support with like share and what with your comment as well so stay with us wait for our next effort it would be releasing soon till then bye bye happy learning